Hello YouTube, Rogue Visionary here with my first video deck profile. This deck profile will be about uh, my Watt deck, and which I recently put together after the sneak peek of Photon Shockwave. And yeah, let's get started. First, I'll start up with the monsters. I run three Watt Hoppers. And with these Watt Hoppers, if you have at least two of them out, then you create what's called a Watt Hopper Lock, in which your opponent cannot select your other Watt Monsters for an attack target or effect target. So that's pretty good. Then you have three Watt Dragonflies when they are destroyed by any means by your opponent's card effect or by battle um, and they don't have to be sent to the graveyard then their effect is you get to special summon any Watt monster from your deck and then I have three Watt drafts these are pretty good because they can attack directly and when they do attack directly uh, your opponent cannot activate spell, trap, or monster effects for the rest of the turn. So, and then I have these three new additions. Watt Cobras. That recently came out in the Photon Shockwave. And they also can attack your opponent directly. And when they do, then you select a Watt Monster from your deck and add it to your hand. And I hear a lot of people saying that you can, but it's actually mandatory that if you do attack directly, you have to search and add it to your hand. But it's still good. I mean, why not? Then I have three Watt Pheasants. This card also. I've heard people say that you can remove a card from play, but it is when you do attack directly with him, you have to remove a monster, so if he's the only monster on the field, you have to remove him from play until the end turn, like, not like it matters, but it's also good for um, the exceeds, if your opponent control exceeds and he has materials on him, you can attack your opponent, then you, ha you banish your opponent's exceed monster, it loses the materials when it comes back, or before it comes back. Then I run one Watt Lemur. When it's destroyed by any means by your opponent, and it doesn't have to be sent to the graveyard, um, your opponent must skip their next battle phase. So yeah, that's pretty good for stalling if you need it. Then I run one Marshmallow. That's also for Stalin and doing some damage and one honest everything is light so why not yeah. and I have the spell spell lineup I run three messenger of peace good for pulling my opponent back while I attack because all what monsters are lower than 15 Except for that one Watt Synchron, Synchro Monster, which I don't use. Then I run three Pot of Dualities. I very rarely special summon in this deck, plus this deck needs more speed, so that's why I added three. One Dark Hole, Staple. One for one, faster way to get out the Watt Hopper Lock. Cycling Batteries lets me select two Thunder Type 15 attack or lower from my graveyard, add it to my hand. Heart of Clear Water. Now, if I equip this to one Watt Hopper, then it's almost like having two Watt Hoppers because it protects it from being destroyed by a battle and any card that selects it as being destroyed. And then I have two Watt Hoppers, I mean, not Watt Hoppers, Watt Keepers. 
Um, when you activate these, you special summon one Watt monster from your graveyard in any position, but then they're destroyed during the end phase. And this is good for getting out uh, Watt Pheasant, because then you can attack with Watt Pheasant, and then during the end phase, well, you can remove it, and then during the end phase, will come back so it won't be destroyed. And I guess like later on, I'll probably replace these two with Call of the Haunted and Monster Reborn. But they're there for now. And then two Magic Cylinders, Negate Attack, Inflict Damage. And then three Wabukus. I was thinking of running Threatening Roar, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. And I have three Watt Cancels. These also came in the Photon Shockwave. They are basically Solemn Judgments. No, no, Solemn Warnings. Or Solemn Judgments. Um, you discard one Watt Monster from your hand when your opponent um, summons a monster. Normal summons or special summons, and you negate and destroy the monster. One Solemn Judgment. And one Back in the Night. To get back, like, Honest or whatever you need. That's it. And this guy right here, he is Watt Chimera. I don't run, I don't synchro in this deck, but he's pretty cool. If you attack directly with him, then you pick one random card in your opponent's hand and put it on top of their deck. So it's a pretty cool, cool combo. Um, I have two more videos that I'm gonna make of two different other types of Watt decks. Uh, one is gonna be aggro, and one's gonna be more towards the Watt Hopper lock. So thank you, comment, you don't really have to subscribe and rate. Thanks.